Hello, Embedded System Lovers! Have you ever wondered how to start programming the STM32 microcontroller? Well, on my journey towards becoming an exceptional Embedded Systems developer, I decided to get myself the STM32 F411CEU development board and it's the STM Black Peel development board and I just wrote a simple LED blink code using the STM32 Cube IDE and I um, decided to try out the simple LED blink just to test out the STM32 Black Peel board. So watch closely and you'll see that the onboard LED is blinking after I uploaded the code with the ST link as you can see that is connected to the PC and you can see the STM32 Cube IDE and it actually worked. Alright guys, so the reason I'm making this video is to know what you think and if we should make a playlist a full STM32 programming playlist starting from beginner to advanced projects where we can cover concepts like C and C++ programming that is bare metal, embedded systems, C optimization and memory management, interrupts and real-time concepts, communication protocols, UART, SPI, I2C, CAN and USB or even free RTOS or Zephyr RTOS that is written operating system. If you want us to talk about things like this and discuss about the STM32 programming, discussing about its architecture, the ARM architecture, please drop it in the comment section below. Or if you have any project you would want us to build with the STM32 Black Peel programming board, please drop it in the comment section below and we'll get right to it and if you have any questions with my video so far please drop it in the comment section below and if you have any suggestions on how we can make the videos on embedded systems better please drop it i would like to learn from you because this is a diary and i'm keeping a journal of my embedded systems journey so i would want to grow with you and i want to also learn from you why i also share what i have learned in my journey towards becoming an exceptional and better systems engineer all right guys so what do you think about this development board and what do you think we should create with it all right i would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below and also don't forget to subscribe and like my videos you know subscribing and liking the video help to encourage the channel because the YouTube algorithm gets to recommend most of the videos that we make to other developers and makers who are interested in embedded systems and that will encourage the growth of the channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And you can see our onboard LED is blinking. And see you in my next video.